you, uh, Janet is fabulous. I used to coach football, and players like Janet, uh, Janet is the people you like to have on your team. I come here today as a concerned parent, as a citizen of the great state of Ohio, as a father, I have two children, I have seven grandchildren. I had eight grandchildren. One of those grandchildren at the age of two had a liver transplant and passed away. Children are precious. I wouldn't know the heartache that we felt or the heartache that a mother feels when a fetus is aborted. Uh, it's tragic. So I come here in support of all the young children, the fetuses, that they can survive, that they can be born to live the life that God has wished us all to live, that our country stands behind the pursuit of happiness, life and liberty. I work with young men ages 10 through 18. I mentor them with Team Focus. We have roughly 148 young men from Central and Northern Ohio that I mentor, along with a bunch of volunteers. It would be tragic for me to not be able to pour into their lives if they weren't there. I wouldn't know what to, I, I would miss them all. We teach our young men right from wrong. We teach them that. Our senators and our congressmen here at the state of Ohio have an opportunity to do what is right. We want them to do that. We want them to pass the heartbeat bill. We want it done because it will save lives. And when the heart is beating, there is a life. When the heart isn't beating, there is no life. And so, from all the young men that I represent from my family, I live in the city of Westerville, from that city. I don't speak for everybody, but I know a great majority of the Americans want, and, and Ohioans want this bill passed. So we urge you to do this. We urge the Senate to get on with their work, and we want this bill passed. We thank God for our country. We thank God for the state of Ohio, and we thank God for every living human being in this world. Thank you.